Rick News. Welcome to today's headlines. Uzodima comments military for destroying bandit bomb factories in Imo. Uzodima comments military for destroying bandit bomb factories in Imo. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Governor Ope Uzodima has commended the Nigerian military and other security agencies for their gallant effort in successfully destroying bomb factories run by bandits at AK Ututu in also local government area of Imo State at the weekend. The governor also lauded the tactics of the military which he noted prevented loss of life during the operation, but regretted the critical injury sustained by the captain and another officer who led the operation. Governor Uzodima will vowed to sustain the fight against insecurity in the state explained that the natives of the area were subjected to various forms of molestation, including tasking them before opening their shops. He has also promised the people of the community that their market, shops and other items destroyed in the process of the operation would be replaced and adequate compensation made to the affected people. As I speak with you, the captain that led this operation and another officer is lying critical at the ICU of the Federal Medical Center. The soldiers were able to dislodge them cassava and other items they used in manufacturing explosives were recovered. In the process, they burnt down the shops and this is consistent with our fight against insecurity. And they were too tactical that no lives were lost. They were able to destroy where they make some of these explosives and it pleases some of, some of the citizens of the state. Those of them who are candidates running for elections in other political parties. They were even so brazen to blackmail the security agencies, questioning why they should go there at all. None of them made attempt to visit the scene. While some are in Abuja talking to the media, some are also in Oweri, here ranting at Ranting and Imo State is bleeding. At the same Ekeo Tutu market, people don't even go to the market without paying taxes to London gunmen. I mean, taxes for them to be able to open their shops and this is what we have been fighting all through. Let me use this medium to state that the fight against banditry, terrorism, kidnapping in Imo state, government will stop at nothing. It is not politics. It is about security of lives and properties of our people. So anybody who wants to play politics with that, well, history will judge all of us. I think we would continue to support security agencies to continue to do their work while we regret any collateral damage that may go with it. By these, we, by these we mean the burning of the shops and the historical significance of AK Ututu Market, Governor Uzodima said. 
he added, Those aunts can be replaced and rebuilt, but lives lost can never be replaced. Imo State government will also rebuild the market. Even in the process, there are innocent traders who lost their items. Government will work out compensation for that market government as a responsibility to fight crime. Also speaking on the alleged inflation of voters, in his word, Omuma, the governor said for those of them, who said Omuma is a local place, Omuma is not a local place. It has an urban status, additional traffic, and a flux of human beings. But I think what happened was that the opposition has lost track. Those who are speaking are candidates of PDP. I don't want to join issues with them. It would only make them popular. The fact remains that in 2019, Amuma had over 23,000 registered voters and the INEC final compilation is not out. So whoever is talking about padding or not padding, they are also saying this because they're sponsoring. In security land thought, nobody is at Omuma again. I have area command in addition to the divisional command. That means additional traffic. For Omuma, we have immigration, custom at Omuma, and these are additional traffic. So I don't know. I don't know how some people who do not work with the National Population Commission would come and talk about figures. I even add that there are some Japanese in the register, but the students at the Polytechnic, there at Omoma are Nigerians. I don't think there is any Japanese there, also demonstrated. Governor Hope Uzodima has commended the Nigerian military and other security agencies for their gallant effort in successfully destroying bomb factories run by bandits at a KO total in also local government area of Imo State at the weekend. So my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let's